At this point, I should point out a matter that causes some confusion. As best I can tell, there are two ways of using the term comprehensive liberalism. One way of using comprehensive liberalism is to refer to a comprehensive doctrine that says that autonomy is good in all ways of life. Another way of using comprehensive liberalism is to refer to the view that this, that we should ground the authority of a conception of justice in a liberal comprehensive doctrine. So political liberalism leaves open the option that someone could believe in some kind of traditional religious patriarchy, but still accept the authority of political liberalism. Now there's limits to how patriarchal it could be, right? but that's impossible. So someone could have some non-liberal comprehensive doctrine and still accept political liberalism. It also may be possible that a person could hold a, what we could call a liberal or autonomy-based comprehensive doctrine for themselves in their private life and accept political liberalism as the proper relation between their liberal, concept, their liberal comprehensive doctrine and a liberal conception of justice. So comprehensive liberalism can refer to someone who holds a certain type of comprehensive doctrine or it can refer to someone that not only holds that kind of comprehensive doctrine, but also believes that it should relate much more directly to the justification of a liberal, a liberal government right, than a political liberal would allow. Right? So it's important to keep this in mind. Right? I will tend to use comprehensive liberal to refer to a person who believes that the society's conception of justice should be grounded in a comprehensive doctrine right, on the societal level, not just the personal level. Right? But at times I will use it the other way, and when I do that, I will take care to note that I'm using it in this other sense.